Where do all these things come from? How have they been made? Somebody made them. Let's find out who and how. Stasi is a unique place because we are trying to tackle archaeological questions uh, through different proxies. Say we're excavating a house, I come in with the plant remains and I understand what the diet was about. Tilo comes in and see what's the metallurgy or the iron uh, making or the pottery making. And then Effie comes in and says, okay, let's see what kind of individuals were living there. Starsi is the only research institute in Cyprus that has dedicated facilities for the study of human remains. Our skeleton is a living tissue, and as such, it constitutes a repository of our lived experiences. Through bioarchaeology, we can examine pandemics and epidemics in the past, how they spread, how people responded to them. The adaptation of different human groups to climate change, patterns of violence, warfare, structural violence. Let's look at iron. We see some iron metal forming, minute particles. But look, there are different types of ore that could have been used. We need a bit more in-depth research for that. We take it to the scanning electron microscope. So it's that way how even the chemistry informs past economic ties past technical, political relationships. We have very, very large cities with thousands of population. So it is very important to see how these were sustained. When you see seeds under the microscope, there are these minute black things uh, that you say, okay, am, am I really interested in them? We're the only laboratory in Cyprus that focuses on uh, ancient plant remains and ancient food. And this is very important for Cyprus and Eastern Mediterranean. Everything is connected, everything is related to each other. You have to look at it in an integrated manner. By studying animal remains in the past, we can see how people managed animals and we can use that information to inform our uh, future strategies in animal management, which might be more sustainable in a challenging and fast-changing uh, world. But also, it's a key question to understand their collapse. Was it because they didn't have enough food? And it's a key question for today as well because we are in a period that we are actually facing many problems in food shortage around the world. If you look at the, the map today of the Eastern Mediterranean and the Middle East, it has always been a culturally and economically connected space. One of the most important contributions of bioarchaeology is that it gives voice to people who are traditionally lost in historical sources. We can examine the women, the children, the slaves, the everyday people, so we can tell their story. We have a lot of different disciplines and we connect them to actually answer a key archaeological question that concerns not only Cyprus but Eastern Mediterranean. Mm -hmm.